Sometimes you may need to create custom stencils in Microsoft Visio as you are trying to import icons that have been created by somebody else or you're trying to organize your own drawing and create stencils from your own drawings. The process of doing this is very simple and it might be very useful if you found cool modern SVG icons that have been created by somebody else and trying to use them in your own drawings. For example, Microsoft developed modern looking Azure architecture icons and you can download them for no additional cost. Once you download and extract the file, you see that inside of this zip archive, there are multiple subfolders and you have SVG files in each one of the subfolders. So the question is, how can you import and organize them in Microsoft Visio? You can import them by just dragging and dropping the files right inside the Visio diagram. And here you can resize them and make them the size you're trying to use for your presentations. You can also use file open option to open the files in their location. Once imported, files could be used to make diagrams right away. You can just connect the shapes using connector feature of Microsoft Visio. If you're not trying to keep those icons and not trying to organize them, this might be sufficient. But if you would like to create new stencil from these icons, you can click on more shapes, create new stencils and give it a name. Once you gave it a name, you can click save button, which would allow you to save this file into the designated location. Now you can add icons to the newly created stencil. To do that, make sure you switch to the pointer tool and you can drag new icon and place it right at the Azure services. Once icon is in place, you can double click on the icon and type the name that would be recognizable and useful for you to find this item. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You will also have an opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If this video was helpful, consider giving it a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this and we'll deliver to you in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.